Hey guys, welcome back to That's Mr. Camper. I got a fairly quick video. It's got a little bit of uh, tutorial tips and tricks kind of action. Uh, going for some legendary armor. Uh, the Queen, Reefer Queen, is going to give it to you. Uh, you got to do a couple bounties first, and then it throws you into a level 24 very hard mission with modifiers on it. But I did it by myself, and I'm going to show you how to do it by yourself. If you're floating around a level 24, 25, I give a few little tips on this that should help you make this a fairly quick and painless uh, legendary armor grab for you. Stick around. Hey guys, thanks a lot for checking out the video. This is a... Uh, bounty mission that I just got through completing for the Queen. Uh, the two that just got through posting that you can actually go into the campaign and do, the Queen's Wrath. Uh, the other one's also the uh, Tears one where you gotta collect 200 Tears. Uh, Relic Harvest of the Fallen. Both of them are Fallen missions. You can tag team those and knock those out uh, with the same. There's four left after the uh, six, so you go over to the Queen's Wrath after you cash in those two bounties. They're pretty easy to do. You should knock them out in about 45 minutes. It's a level 24 story challenge on very hard. If you're sitting at 25 like me, uh, it's uh, difficult but not impossible to do. Even a level 24, I think if you got the right uh, aim and ammo and uh, armor, you should be able to do it. Usually I rock with the hand cannon because the campaign is fairly boring, but I'm going to switch to the uh, the uh, auto rifle here because they have epic modifier shields on and also the uh, charge pulse uh, cannon uh, to take down those shields. Uh, we hop in here and it's basically like you're doing the end of the game again. And I'm going to fast forward through a whole bunch of scenes because... Uh, if you played the campaign or story mode, you've done this before. You're gonna hop on here, go to the main gate, uh, kill the guys outside. They don't have modifiers on, so you really have nothing to worry about getting into the gate. But once you get in here, uh, the harpies, the floating triangles with arms, like I call them or describe them, they have the shields and they have a little bit more damage boost put on them. The Minotaurs, uh, the ones that teleport in front of you and keep coming, those guys, they really can put an ass whooping on you if you're not keeping an eagle eye out for those guys. Uh, the fan heads, the, the Vex, the normal one-shot guys, which you're seeing right here, those guys are standard, no problems. I roll up on here like a badass and almost get killed straight off. Uh, and get stuck in the corner. That's this is absolutely brilliant how to start out a video. But uh, there's the harpies right there. You can see the shield on them. You have to knock that shield all the way down. It does come back, so you don't want to let it go down too far because it will regen on you, uh, which is a real pain in the ass. Um, the minotaurs they've spit out a whole lot of damage. You saw how much that uh, damage was from that one minotaur right there. And he was just a level 24. You're not going to face any more than a level 24 uh, until you get into uh, the main game. And they're going to have double shields in there. So you really got to pay attention and uh, kind of play it safe. If you're rocking a level 28 or 29 or something like that, you should have no problems here. But being by myself and not wanting to die and do the level over, it's a real pain in the ass. Uh, the ammo drops are real scarce too on this, so you kind of have to conserve your ammo. Got me a green, uh, uh, a green, uh, a green fucking button. I can't think of what the fuck it is. A green jewel right there, and I pick it up. Uh, Ingram, there we go, Ingram. And I'm shooting right through this guy's teleport. Every time he teleports, I shoot. But those are guys you got to really uh, kind of pay attention to. Uh, the goblins, they're pretty much standardly the same. The fan heads, those guys get shot and they're easy. But the harpies and the minotaurs double shield, they do put out a lot more damage. And this is the standard same campaign. 
I'm unlocking the second door right now, which releases that spire that's going up in the middle of the map right there. Nothing hugely difficult if you play it slow, like I said, if you're at a level 25, pick off as many guys as you can with maybe your sniper rifle before you try to roll up on this all hard, hardcore because the minotaurs, they will destroy you if you get stupid. But if you don't mind dying, I mean, I guess it's okay. And respawning, uh, you're you're not going to be able to do that. It's going to take you right back to uh, basically the beginning in that cave. But here it takes you to the front. Got a couple of blue engrams here. I got two of them. And I think I got four greens on this match. Finish that guy off with a few style points. Um, if you get rockets I highly recommend that you hold on to those uh, as long as you possibly can of course if you're about to die and you gotta use them you gotta use them but uh, you activate this little uh, light spire here and uh, it brings up the cinematic that was at the end of the game uh, which was the best cinematic in the game just a disappointing end to the campaign in my humble Opinion. I'm going to shut up and let it roll through this cinematic right here because I think it's pretty slick. There you go. I always thought we were going to fight that guy right there, but it winds up being a very disappointing campaign. But this is extra hard, especially if you're by yourself and you're right around the level 24, 25. You're going to have some difficulty here. i give you a few little tips here on how to beat uh, these guys and not die. Like I said, hold on to your rockets as much as you can. Uh, the thing that I found that worked the very best for me is staying as far back from the main bosses as you possibly can but this isn't one of my shiny moments I'm telling you what not to do right here I thought that I was just gonna stay up here and melee a whole bunch of uh, evildoers until I was able to go down there and fight the main boss but that really didn't work as you're gonna see in here in just a second because those pesky little gremlins and their charged sniper rifle uh, they just won't allow you to just sit up there and be a uh, snarky little bastard on them. As you can see right there, I get killed off. I just wanted to keep that in there because if you were thinking that, I wanted to dissuade you from it. And I'm going to fast forward to the very ending here. Everything's standard except the volumes cranked up on the harpies. They take a lot more to take down. The minotaurs, they're a real bitch uh, when you're fighting these guys. The only advice I can tell you is to try to pick them and whittle them down. The one shot from the plasma cannon from the big uh, gate lord guys, they will take you under a quarter of a health. They did with me. Uh, I strongly recommend that you don't screw around unless you want to try to do it a different way. But your best bet is to stay from to stay uh, between these uh, see these half moon. Uh, triangle looking uh, ramps here this one and the one on the opposite side and take the long route around as I'm about to do here or try to do if I don't get stuck on a rock because he has to shoot through all of that cover and most of the time his purple little uh, bolts don't make it through and as you can see your rockets are going to be your best friend save them to the end if you can 
pick them up even if it might it means you dying uh, because you get to keep it but you don't get to if you spend it you don't get to do it again the other good thing about this is once you beat one of the gate lords he doesn't respawn so you start it second time and third time so even if you die after you kill one of them you still go stage for stage you don't have to start from the beginning and I'm so excited to get my legendary uh, outfit, my purple outfit. I don't care if it com comes from the Reefer Queen or not. Teabag and all these motherfuckers, I'm celebrating here. Mission complete, Black Garden. Uh, it took me about six lives to figure this out. Get me a uh, blue polygon there. And this was really fun. This is what I thought that the end campaign should be. Or these three guys should transform into a huge gate lord guy. I thought that that would have been pretty sweet. But right now I'm just so stoked. I'm about to go pick up my purple and yellow armor from the queen bitch. Uh, as you can see it's going to unlock here in a second. Uh, Forge and fire I got that. But this is what you want to see. The purple engram. Get the chest protector. The solid legendary chest protector. Purple, 183 kills, 29 precision, 43 ability kills. I died about six times. Most of the time I died is because I was being reckless. If you pay attention and, like I said, stay in the back half of that, you're going to do just fine and save your rockets and your specials towards the end. These are going to be your last four that are left over until it resets. Um, right here, off with their heads, defeat 15 gardens with uh, sniper kills. Uh, three Crucible matches with the Queen's Bond and uh, her uh, bling on. You get that. Uh, there's an, there's the other two off to the right there. Uh, the, off of their heads. You did that one already, dude. Uh, by her hand, defeat 20 Guardians. Defeat three Fallen Walkers. You get that. And you wander around, get into your inventory, and bam, there it is. 306, 406 defense. My coat changes to an absolutely atrocious pumpkin color that I hate, but I got a purple engram from it, and it actually paid off. It didn't turn into a blue this time, and I'm so stoked. Guys, thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know how it helped. I'm going to do a little happy dance for my uh, purple. I didn't go to the loot cave and try to get it. I'm going to show you my dance prowess. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helps you tremendously. Like, subscribe if you haven't. You guys have a great rest of the week. Thank you very much for watching.